Good morning, folks. Today we're going to ask the question, can first-time home buyers still buy houses? The answer might surprise you because it's not what you think. My name is Roger Lazzarino, and I'm the managing broker for Mid Florida Realty, and I'm a licensed mortgage loan officer as well. And here's how you can still buy homes if you're a first-time home buyer. Here are the three basic problems for first-time home buyers. The basic problems for first-time home buyers is that 99% of them don't have a lot of cash money to use for earnest money deposits and having the ability to use that additional cash to pay for the difference between appraised value of the home and the accepted contract offer of the purchase price of the home. Realistically, the minimum earnest money deposit that you can expect to come up with in 2021 and the foreseeable future is at the very least about $5,000 in the more rural areas of Florida and up to fifteen dollars to $20,000 closer to the major Florida cities. Logic dictates that the more earnest money deposit that the buyer submits with the contract offer, the better the odds that they'll be awarded the opportunity to purchase the house. I and mean, that just stands to reason. Unfortunately, if you're a first-time home buyer, you don't have a lot of cash to put down on that earnest money because you don't have a home to sell to get your equity back out. The silver lining is whatever amount the earnest money deposit is would later be used for either or the down payment and or your closing cost. So it's not like you lose the money or you're forfeiting the money even if you get the house. You're going to use that money all the way through the process. And it will be part of your equity when you decide to sell that house at some particular point in time. Problem number two are appraisals. Appraisal problems in this market really can be a nightmare in this market. Because they don't have a lot of money, first time home buyers can't afford to risk waiving or omitting the appraisal contingency from the Florida state contract. This contingency protects the buyers from paying too much for the property if they can't or don't want to pay the difference between the appraised price and the contract price. If the appraisal comes in low, the home buyer must make up the difference at closing between the appraised price and the purchase price if they want to purchase the property. The appraisal versus the purchase amount spread might be up to $35,000 or more in cash reserves that your typical first-time home buyer just doesn't have or isn't willing to pay that much over for a professional appraiser's opinion of value. Because the real estate market is in such a rising environment, these low appraisals are coming in more frequently. Problem number four for Florida first-time home buyers are the financing contingency on Florida real estate purchase offers. The next waivable and negotiable contingency that protects the buyer is the financing contingency. This is another contingency that we typically don't advise omitting from the purchase offer because not all mortgage loans are approved. If your loan isn't approved and it's outside the financing contingency, you're going to lose all of your money. If it's not approved inside the financing contingency, you can get your earnest money back. First-time home buyers have to realize that sellers in 2020, 2021, and 2022, and God knows how long, don't want buyers to be able to back out of contract offers 30 days after the home has been off the market. Consequently, when sellers see offers that either have a financing contingency or an appraisal contingency, the seller is much less willing to accept the first-time home buyer's purchase offer. Instead, the sellers pick an offer that doesn't ask for those two major negotiated contingencies. Of course, in this market, that leaves the first-time home buyers out in the cold. Now we're going to talk about how first-time home buyers can buy homes. In today's real estate market, especially within a 50-mile radius of major metropolitan cities, there are a couple of legitimate rent-to-own options for everyone to use, not just first-time home buyers. We at Mid Florida Realty prefer to use a program that our investor purchases the home for cash, which means there's no appraisal contingency and no financing contingency that you need to worry about. You pick the home from the local MLS that's provided by your Mid Florida Realty agent, and we go into the negotiation with a full price cash offer. That's an extremely powerful contract offer. One mile and six month comparable prices of the area are carefully reviewed by the investor and our agent. So the investor doesn't overpay for the property, which means later you don't overpay for the property if and when you exercise your option to buy the property. Here are the steps to buying your new home using our lease to own or rent to own option. 
Mid Florida Realty submits the cash offer to the seller, and because the way that the purchase offer is structured, it's a cash offer with no appraisal and no financing contingency. This is very appealing to the sellers because these two contingencies are omitted from the cash offer, which makes it even more powerful. The home inspection contingency is the last major obstacle in the contract, and that is always left in the contract for everyone's protection, yours as well as the investor's. If the property has multiple offers, our investor may even have an escalation clause to further entice the seller to sell that home to our investor. In today's world, a solid full price cash offer without those two major contingencies and without asking for any seller closing cost concessions dramatically increases your chances of moving in. When we close the transaction in about 45 days, now you have the option to continue to rent the property for years one through five in one year lease increments or finance the property into your name at any point during the lease purchase agreement. This couldn't be simpler or safer for first time home buyers. None of your money is at risk. And remember, you're the one that picked the house. Now we're gonna talk about the money that you'll need for your lease to own home for you to move in. After the purchase contract has been accepted by both the seller and our investor, you'll need to produce two months security deposit, which equals two months rent. Your security deposit can be used later to help pay for your own closing cost if and when you finance the property into your name. So again, that money is going to go to your benefit. If you qualify for one of our many down payment assistance programs, you can use both the down payment assistance as well as your security deposit for your own closing cost. You could almost say this is a nothing down house because this is the closest that you're going to ever get to a nothing down house. The house and the property will be thoroughly inspected by a licensed home inspector before the inspection contingency expires. Of course, this home inspection contingency protects you and the investor. After any or all of those issues are resolved between the seller and the investor, then we're moving forward towards closing and you will be asked to produce your first month's rent. The day you move in is the first day that your rent is applied. And it's the first day that you're going to start building equity in your new house, if you decide to purchase the house at any point in time. Now you have multiple options, whether you want to exercise the option to buy or just continue to rent the home in one year renewable increments, decide later or buy the home at any point in time. It's all your choice. You control your own destiny. You're no longer forced to compete to buy the home that you really want and you're not risking any of your own money. You're living in the home. You have a contract that gives you the ability to purchase the home if and when you're able and want to do so, or just leave at the end of each one year lease. You can use an FDA, a USDA, if the address is acceptable for USDA, a VA loan or a conventional loan to finance the home into your name. The investor has no preference because they don't write loans. This is the safest and fairest way in today's market for first time home buyers to purchase a home. If you qualify for down payment assistance, you can use that too. And we know all about that. So the answer is a resounding yes. First time home buyers can still buy homes in Florida. You just need to seriously consider this excellent option to make it happen. Give us a call and we'll help you through the entire process. Our service at Mid Florida Realty doesn't cost you anything. Look forward to speaking with you, and if you have any questions, you can go to the next slide for all of our contact information. Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel because that's the way that we keep making these very informative videos. Thanks again, and we'll talk to you soon.